and know this walk very well. When I was young, after organ practice at Christchurch, I'd make my way back home, nearly two miles to Leith Hill Place. It gave me plenty of time to think about the kind of music I wanted to write. Music with its roots in the English soil. That was long before I was the famous Ralph Vaughan Williams. Back then I was just a keen young man with a head full of music. And I was very young when I began. Just five years old when I started to learn the piano and began making up my own tunes. After Cambridge University, Royal College of Music, I got married and settled down to my life's work. Not just making the kind of music you hear in big concert halls, but songs and hymns and simple things you can play at home. I think music is the expression of the soul of a nation. I started collecting folk songs. This was before the First World War, when we were afraid the old tunes might disappear altogether. I'd go around the villages, and usually the pubs, and get the old people to sing or play the tunes they remembered, and I'd write them down. One of the tunes I rescued is quite famous now. You'll hear it every Christmas with the words, Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Up here on Leith Hill, you can see right across Surrey and beyond. It's easy to imagine the lark ascending over this landscape, and that was partly the inspiration behind one of my most popular works. I served in the army during the First World War, and the things I saw knocked the music out of me for a while. But by the 1920s, I was teaching and writing and even composing again. When the Second World War came, it brought me an unexpected opportunity, writing film scores. I suppose some people are snobbish about such things, but I think film composing is a splendid discipline. Now we're coming to Leith Hill Place, where I grew up. This was my mother's family home. We came to live here after my father died, when I was very young. I think the gardens are particularly lovely, and in 1944 I decided to give the place to the National Trust, so now everyone can enjoy it. They even have my old piano inside. It's not a splendid one, more functional than beautiful, but very useful for composing. Although to tell the truth, I've always preferred violin to piano. Now I'm at the end of my journey and it's time for me to rest. I hope one day you'll come to walk these woods and gardens and perhaps think of me. Now that my work on this earth is done, I'm no longer making music. Instead, I have become music.